So this is lecture six. We're gonna be discussing playback and automation and learn more about playback and the automation of parameters at the clip level. So still this is entirely in session view instead of arrangement view. And we're gonna stay in session view, but I'm going to mention arrangement view briefly today just to make a point about automation. So what automation is, is essentially an envelope, which is the changing of a parameter over time uh, without moving it by hand. So if we go ahead and play this back and move the release of the kick drum, that would be changing something over time by hand. Let's say we wanted to automate that change. Well, I could go to that control, control click or right click, and go show automation. And now you can see it opens this envelopes window. And we've got 808 and the release selected. So now let's just draw a simple line to bring that down. This also brings up another point as to why our loop brace is important. Because now you can see after playing all the way through the clip, it's just looping the last two beats, or the last two bars rather, and not actually ever playing the beginning of that automation data again. Let's extend that loop back out to bar one. Great. So just like we edited velocity, we can also turn on the draw tool with B and draw a line of automation that snaps to the current grid. If we wanted to do something smooth, we could turn the grid off and draw automation like so. Now that looks pretty unusable, so I'm gonna go ahead and just right click and go clear envelope. And that clears the envelope that we've drawn. Now, the other way to record automation would be to actually move the control while recording. So if we switch back and we go ahead and enable the automation arm button, make sure our track is record enabled, and then hit the session record button, we can move the parameter in real time. And we'll notice that it created a little red LED box telling us that that parameter has now been automated. If we double click back into the clip, there's the automation that we recorded. So let's say you want to see that automation and it's not pulled up in the envelopes window. We could simply go and control or right click on the parameter that's been automated and go show automation. That shows our automation window in the envelopes window automatically. You can also navigate to it here by going to drum rack, 808 long, and then selecting release time. As you can see, there's a lot of parameters here. This is maybe not the most efficient way to locate an automated parameter, but to make it easier, Ableton has placed a little LED next to parameters that have been automated. When you have a lot of different automated parameters, and it's maybe easier to select them from this menu than go find them on the device, this is probably a better way to go about it. So something to note about recording automation is that in session view, automation is recorded at a clip-to-clip -clip basis. So if we click and play the clip above this, that automation no longer exists because we only wrote automation into this clip. And by double clicking into the clip and selecting the envelopes window, you can see that each has its own individual envelope window with different data recorded. That's important to remember is if you want to write automation for multiple clips, you actually have to go in and write the automation or copy and paste the automation into each clip. If we wanted to copy and paste that, we could go into this clip, turn off draw mode, Go ahead and select. I'm going to turn my grid back on. Let's go ahead and select the automation here. Command C, go into the top. Command V, and now we've pasted the automation into the first clip also. Now, I mentioned I was going to briefly jump into arrangement view, and the reason for that is once we drag these clips over to arrangement view, you can see that automation is actually transferred into automation lanes in arrangement. No longer is that automation stored at the clip level. Instead, it's displayed across the entire global time of the project. Now, that same navigation window is located here, so you can find your automation. And alternatively, you can still just go Show Automation. And you also have this new option to show automation in a new lane. In an arrangement view, you can display multiple different lanes of automation data, copy and paste between them, 
and edit them all while still having the note lane displayed. There are a lot of different situations and a lot of different parameters that are useful to automate. Most notably is probably the cutoff frequency of a synthesizer, or maybe even a sampler. But release on an 808 kick is a pretty good example of something that you would want to automate and change throughout your song. Maybe you have a B section in which you don't want the kick to be so loud and prominent. Rather than creating another drum pad with a quieter kick, you could simply automate the volume of the kick down for that section. Next we're going to be talking about producing our sounds and making our sounds work better together in the mix.